Everyone has within themselves the power to heal themselves. They don't need it to come from outside of them, but they have the social and emotional intelligence, they have the perception, they step into their power here beside a thousand pound horse, and they discovered exactly how powerful they are and that they can become leaders and that they can, they've got the strength that they need to overcome anything. And that's huge. Life can kind of throw kids some pretty fast curveballs and there's a lot of woundedness that can happen between school and all kinds of family situations and everything. So the horses, the animals that we had kind of helped our family get through and we just started putting them together and making notes of what we saw and then I got lots of training around the country on horses and people and healing and I started Animals as Natural Therapy about 17 years ago. We're a nonprofit organization and we have found and our starting belief was that animals can help reach a place in the human soul that maybe other things can't and where people can't always get to. Horses are unique in that they're prey animals and because they're prey animals they're always assessing the situation. So they can teach a lot of social and emotional intelligence to people. We're pretty oblivious going through life and we need to start paying attention to the other and their body language and their emotional state. And the horses help us, they're paying attention to that with us. So we learn to pay attention to that when we're in their space and when we're interacting with them. They're also amazing because they're herd animals. They're only willing to follow a, a strong leader. To be a strong leader, you really have to be firm in who you are. And you can develop that beside a horse. Because if you're too wishy-washy, a horse is gonna read that and they're gonna push you around. And if you're too assertive, a horse is gonna resent that and they're gonna push back and not cooperate. And it's so cool because they all have different personalities just like people. So we let people pick their horses. And so someone will pick a horse that they need. They don't know, we don't make a list and say, okay, pick Sundance because if you're too bossy, she's gonna put you in your place. They just naturally pick her. <laughs> they get the lesson that, whoa, I guess I better like tone down. Horses communicate with us like they do with each other, with their eyes and their ears and their body language. We'll have, you know, we'll demonstrate, we'll have the kids watch the horses communicate. So we teach people how the horses communicate with each other. So our horses have learned to trust us to read them. The way they communicate with, with us even more than that is when you're training a horse and they lick and chew, that is when they kind of have absorbed what you're trying to teach them. It means they get it. They don't have food in their mouth. They just lick and chew. So we teach people to watch that. So if you're getting close to the truth about something that you're grappling with, and your horse licks and chew, they agree with you. When you're talking about a friend who might be good for you, they might lick and chew. Because they know that in your heart, they sense it. They sense it from that in your, your congruity. They sense that this is a person that brings you peace. And then when you start talking about a boyfriend that's kind of mean to you, the horse might nip at you. <laughs> they, they, because they sense it in our bodies, it shifts. And so because they're so tuned into what shifts, they can let us know. I don't know, they're just, they're just pretty, they're amazing teachers. It's just been such an honor, such an honor to learn from each one of them and see how they show up. They show up for different people in different ways. They, I mean, a horse can be a butthead for a 15 year old who needs to learn to stand up for herself and he can be a total sweetheart for a five year old. One of the things the ways what happens here at the farm is so effective is that we help people get a takeaway. So we do a what, so what, now what, which comes from experiential learning, education, workshops and stuff. And we say, what was your challenge today? Or what was, what happened today briefly? And how did you handle it? What did you, um, how would you think about it? Would you feel about it? What'd you do about this challenge? And then how else, where else in your life can you use that learning? And that's been so powerful for kids to 
decide to start applying themselves at school, decide that they're going to figure out a new way to get along with their parents, decide to forgive themselves, it's huge. So that takeaway is a very powerful part of what we do. People I run into, they don't forget their lessons that they learned here. They don't forget how they felt about this place. Um, they, they don't forget, and it's a lifelong lesson, which is really special.